Here's a 2-1 pitch, and that's ripped into left field. Voigt has delivered for the Yankees. LeMahieu digs around third. Going to second is Sanchez into third, and at second with a double for an RBI is Luke Voigt as he's put the Yankees on top here in London, one to nothing. Well, that's the season in a nutshell for the Yankees, and the season in a nutshell so far for the Red Sox. Pop-up foul ball that could have been an out. Gave Voigt another chance, and he has been outstanding with runners in scoring position, as has the entire team for the New York Yankees, and they jump out early here in London with the first RBI. So obviously MLB history with every first and the first run batted in belongs to Luke Voigt. Every batter that comes up there of course has the opportunity to do damage. This Yankee lineup has cut down on strikeouts and has increased their home runs making them doubly tough. Here's one into right center field. It's going to get down and score a couple. Gregorius has delivered for New York. He is content with a two run double three nothing Yankees here in the first. Different continent. Still raking are the New York Yankees. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately Porcello was trying to make the great pitch this entire at bat with two strikes and this one wasn't right down the middle tried to go in and up and he left it over the middle of the plate and these Yankee hitters do not miss many mistakes. Here is a 2 2 and that's down the left field line going to get down and score Gregorius to make it four to nothing ball gets away from Benintendi an RBI double either way and the Yankees pile it on here in the first inning four to nothing New York tried to get the ball in and again missed right down the middle. When you miss down the middle to this team they don't always have to be homers but they have been hits and hits with runners on is a great great number and stat to have and the Yankees excel in that. So now Encarnacion at second with Aaron Hicks digging his way into the batter's box and they've seen now 33 pitches and they see one launch. The first MLB home run in Europe. And here on the 29th of June 2019 he takes the trip and the Yankees lead by six. And the first inning has to be much better than it has been this year. Slow first innings every every game it seems like. Devers hits a rocket pass voided first trickles into foul ground flying around third as bats you want action we got action six to one on an RBI double by Rafael Devers. Well that's great feeling for the Red Sox and the fans who have come here six nothing down and a bullet hit past Voigt. didn't have time to really react. And because he deflected it, he slowed it down a lot of distance. Judge has a cannon, but Betts' legs were much better. And the cannon didn't come into play as Betts scores easily from first. He's hoping this at bat extends a little bit further than the two strike no ball count he has on him right now. Bases loaded. One out. Five run lead for the Yankees. That's in the air to right. Judge is back and there to grab it. Tagging and scoring is Devers. And it's 6 2 on a sack fly to right by Vasquez. Two people were happy at the same time. A great hit and great approach by Vasquez. Drives in the run. Right side base hit. Here comes Bogarts. No play. 6-3 game here in the first. For the first time, and this is the 20 second hundredth time, 2,200 times the Yankees and Red Sox have played one another. First time on, on an artificial turf with two strikes try to go right back up there 2 2 fly ball into center back at the wall this game is tied Five.
drive for the cocktail vendor and an early exit for the Yankee starter. Wow. Breaking ball hitter, breaking ball pitch, straight away center. Gardner hits one into right field. Back at the wall, it is gone. Yankees back on top, 8 6, and a two run shot by Brett Gardner. And see the guys that don't have the biggest swings are the ones that I think will handle the knuckleball the best. Gardner pretty compact power in for a small guy. His power is going to be exactly what you saw pull side and he just waited back and smoked it with a 3 2 count. Runners will take off and that'll force home the ninth run of the game for the Yankees on a bases loaded walk guy at the plate LeMayu one of the best we've already documented that is fair down the line and these guys can run for days three runs are going to score LeMayu into second and the Yankees break it open for the second time bases clearing two out double by D.J. LeMayhew, absolutely red hot. This is a slider that doesn't break, stays inside, allows him to pull the baseball. Now they're shifted way over because he rarely hits the ball in this position down on the ground. So that was going to be the big hit that clears the bases. And unfortunately, he has not been able to make a consistent pitch with his secondary stuff to this Yankee lineup. Can he repeat it? He hasn't shown that yet in this inning. It's been a long inning for him. That's well hit to right, up and out. Judge, 14 to six, with a two-run shot. They blew a six-run first inning lead. They now lead by eight. Three innings later, you could do a week's worth of two out hits and not come up with as many two out hits as both these teams combined in not even four innings yet. Just getting one more out has been difficult for each side. A fifth eight run lead and that's up the middle for another run for the Yankees and another RBI for D.D. Gregorius. We already talked about Stanton and Judge being out most of the year. Didi being out. Another hit for LeMahieu. Through the left side, one run scores. Here comes another. Two more runs, and it's 16 to 6. We're in the east end of London as Jackie Bradley Jr. skies one into left at the wall. And the Red Sox fans have a chance to cheer in Jackie Bradley Jr. Who's been hot since the calendar turned to June as his ninth home run of the year and third hit of the night. Yeah, that's big for Jackie Bradley even a game that looks like they're going to lose his emergence back into the lineup. He was really struggling the first quarter of the season and. You know, with a guy with the defensive skills that he possesses, if he can get anything offensively, what a weapon he becomes for the Red Sox. Over Philly. Here's a high fly ball into left center field. Back at the wall. It is gone. More fireworks in London. And again, it's Michael Chavis with a three run home run. Having a jolly good time here in Great Britain. Well the funkiness of Cortez that dropping down on a left hander sidearm might have a better impact but when he dropped down to a guy who's already a good off speed hitter he's shaking his head going you know it's a good thought when you go and do it and then you give up a three run home and you go, what was I thinking came up to the big club on June 8th. That is a diving stop by Gregorius base hit inning continues a run scores. Wow what a play by Didi. 
The Yankees are going to want to maybe take a look at it or at least ponder the thought of looking at it but I thought he was safe when I first saw it live. This ball up the middle and diving a pro a diving attempt he gets up and throws the ball right on the money but. Speed rewarded there. Runner goes ball four in to score bats. And the Red Sox are one run closer. That's into right field. One run scores. Going over to third and running gingerly and maybe injured as Bogarts. And it's a four run game with second and third.